the next thing I want to do is create a foundation for the building so the pieces in the bottom remain static and this can be done with the active property and by default if you do not assign an active value all of the pieces will have a value of 1 and this is why they're all falling down initially so let's go back up one level here where we created our assemble and we will add a few nodes here and first of all I will create a group And for now, my main goal will be to maintain the whole system procedural. That way, if we later want to replace the geometry for a higher resolution one, everything should still work. So first of all, I'm going to change the group color node. I will also change the name to group inactive. And the type of group that I will create is a point group. The name of the group will be inactive. And remember, this is just the name of the group. It's not the actual attribute. The attribute we will create later. So let's make a little bit more room here. And I will lay down a point wrangler. Call this node set active. I will also change its color and let's type the following code I at this means it's an integer attribute then type active equals one and semicolon so now press control enter to evaluate the code and if we click on the dot building demolition and press play probably we won't notice any difference because as I mentioned before the initial state or the default state of the points is active equals one so what I'm going to do is with this group first of all I'm going to keep in bounding regions you can also press enter in the viewport just to see the gizmo here and I will scale this to 26 meters in X, 26 meters in Z, and 2 meters in Y. So I'm going to press spacebar 3 to take a look at the front view, zoom in, and bring the bounding box a little bit upward just to encompass the pieces that are on the ground. Let's go back to the camera view. And I think this should be enough. So now everything that is inside the bounding box will be inside the inactive group. Here you can see the pieces that are in the group. So after this set active node, I will add another point wrangler. call this one set inactive also change its color and this time under the group select the inactive group and type I at active equals zero and semicolon so now the pieces on the bottom should remain static no matter what. So let's click on the top building demolition and press play. So it's working fine. 